The Manufacturer Association of Nigeria MAN has urged its members to take advantage of the opportunities created by the policies of the administration and emerging continental markets to expand their investment, improve their manufacturing operations and standard of products as it would guarantee the manufacturer's competitiveness and market penetration in Africa and beyond. While speaking at the opening of the three-day Made in Nigeria 50th business meeting of MAN in Lagos on Monday, the National President Engineer Maso Ahmad called on manufacturers to produce high-quality products and services in line with the best uh, standards. MAN President explained that despite the Executive Order 003 and the 005 that exemplify the commitment of the Federal Government of Nigeria to grow domestic production through the patronage of locally produced goods, the implementation of the policy is not being given adequate attention. Engineer Ahmed noted that any ministry, department and agency of government that fails to comply with the executive order will be sanctioned immediately. In his remarks, the former president of MAN, Ambassador Hassan Adamu, suggested that in order to grow the economy and create jobs and increase contributions to government revenue, the manufacturing sector must be supported to scale production through increased capacity utilizing adequate patronage. The Wakili Adamawa, who applauded the capacity of the Nigeria manufacturing sector to produce in face of hard economy, called on government and Nigerians to patronize local manufacturers. I believe that the fact that we are holding this exhibition today at a time when the government is reviewing its performance is actually very, very timely. We hope that as the president and his uh, cabinet discuss and review the performance of the government over the years, they must, they must, they must focus on the state of our industrial sector, particularly the manufacturing sector. Because as we know, our economy has suffered disastrously in the last few years, not only because of the external forces such as the COVID-19, but also because of policy uh, directions which have not been helpful to the domestic economy. The, the difficult terrain of which we find ourselves, not ourselves only, but the whole world, the economic dif difficult terrain is not going to be easy. We don't know how you will survive next year with the kind of problems that we are facing. Inconsistency in policy regime, high taxes, multiple taxation, lack of uh, sufficient uh, power, reliable power, lack of foreign exchange to buy your raw materials and spare parts. Definitely, unless we think out of the box, the survival of industry in Nigeria is threatened.